Well, students, welcome back to part seven of the same exercise 2.5 of polynomial. We have done many questions related to exercise 2.5. Let's start with the continuations. So let me move to the next slide to check what is the question. Question is all about the factorize. We need to factorize the following two questions. The above one is 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square plus 12xy minus 24yz minus 16z square. So let me explain how we will do this question. This question when we look at carefully it is something related to the formula which I have described here. That is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca which is equals to a plus b plus c whole square. So above question has to be factorized in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. So let's see how we can do this. Here 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square. These three terms are the perfect square number. So we will describe it as 2x square plus 3y whole square plus minus 4z whole square so this is in the form of a square plus b square plus c square then becomes plus 2ab so here is 2ab value is 2x into 3y plus 2bc means 2 into 3y into minus 4z plus 2ca will give you 2 into minus 4z into 2x on further simplifications we can come and express this whole expression as 2x plus 3y minus 4z whole square. Similarly, we have the second question. Same way, we will going to express the whole expression into a plus b plus c whole square. So here, 2x square can be written as minus 2 root x whole square plus minus y whole square plus 8 can be written as minus 2 root 2z whole square plus 2ab means plus 2 root 2x into minus y plus 2 into minus y into minus 2 root 2 into z plus 2 root 2z into 2 root x. On further whole simplification of this, we will get final answer root 2x minus y minus 2 root 2z whole square. I hope I have made you understand this. Let's go to the another slide here the question number six is write the following cubes in the expanded form so here we're going to express this one as 2x plus one whole cube we're going to express this one as a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so let's start with the first question 2x plus 1 whole cube can be written as 2x cube plus 1 cube plus 3 into 2x square into 1 plus 3 into 2x into 1 square this expression is in the form of an identity which is been shown in the slide a plus b whole cube that is so we can further explain this one as 8x cube plus 1 plus 3 into 2x square can be further expressed as 2 square 4x square 4 into 3 12x square plus 1 square is 1 so 3 into 2x will give you 6x into 1 6x so final answer will be 3x cube plus 1 plus 2x square plus 6x similarly i have given one more example here about x minus 2 by 3 y whole cube again we will express in the same manner as i said using the formula a plus b whole cube is equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so here x cube plus minus 2 by 3y whole cube plus we'll express as 3a square b so here 3 value of a is x so x square value of b is minus 2 by 3y so that is as it is plus 3ab square so plus 3 into a a means x and b is minus 2 by 3 y whole square on further simplification we will get final answer x cube minus 8 by 27 y cube minus 2 x square y plus 4 by 3 x y square i hope you understanding 
if not we'll be doing these all questions while we back to the school after the quarantine period so i'd given you here a homework for question number two and three that you have to try at home okay let's go to the next slide and see what is there question number seven that is evaluate the following using suitable identities question number one is 99 whole cube that can be expressed as 100 minus 1 whole cube again as i said we will use the identity here a plus b whole cube so a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square of type so here the value of a is 100 and the value of b is 1 so let's keep the value of a and b in the given formula so 100 cube plus minus 1 whole cube plus 3 into 100 square into minus 1 plus 3 into 100 into minus 1 whole square or for the simplification of this number will give you a tan x minus 1 minus 30,000 plus 300 will give you the total sum of these as 9 lakh 70,299 I hope this is easiest one and uh, I have given you the two questions homework that is the question number two that is of 102 whole cube and question number three 998 whole cube so best of luck uh, keep trying these questions at home you can even go to the web pages and assignments and uh, more examples exercise exercise examples are given on the link uh, from our school thank you